uh, before you said you're a diplomat, um, mm -hmm. but several weeks ago you called Pakistan, uh, your neighbor, the epicenter of terrorism. Well, I uh, did it again today uh, without using the word. Uh, yes, and uh, that, this uh, doesn't sound very diplomatic, does it? No, because you are a diplomat doesn't mean you're untruthful. Uh, I could use much harsher words than epicenter. So believe me, considering what has been happening to us, I think epicenter is a very diplomatic word because this is a country which has attacked uh, the parliament of India some years ago, which attacked the city of Mumbai, which went after hotels and foreign tourists, which every day sends uh, terrorists across the uh, border. But of so course sometimes not, when we of talk... Of course not as a country. Well, if you uh, control your sovereign space, which I believe they do, uh, if the terrorist camps operate in broad daylight in cities with recruitment and financing, uh, can you really tell me that the Pakistani state doesn't know what's going on? Especially if they're being trained in military level combat tactics. So, you know, when we speak about uh, judgments and principles, why don't I hear sharp European condemnation of these practices which have been going on for multiple decades? Let's talk about India's interests. India does not take part in Western sanctions against Russia, but has increased its imports from Russia uh, five times since the war began. Uh, by this, are you not helping Moscow? Are you not financing Russia's war? You know, Europe imported in the same period six times the energy which India did. So but, if, but, yes, if but, you, but, Europe, is, uh, but Europe decreased its imports a lot and dramatically since well, the war started, you multiplied yours. No, essentially, if it is a matter of principle, why didn't Europe cut on the first day? Why didn't we see on 25th of February a complete cutoff of energy imports from Russia? But you, can't say, you can't say it's my principle, but by the way, I will do it by my timing. Okay, but isn't it the difference uh, between decreasing your imports but still making sure that uh, Europe is not freezing uh, to death in the winter or just increasing uh, your imports by five times? No. Uh, Europe has managed uh, to, uh, to reduce its imports while doing it in a manner in which it is comfortable for Europe. Comfortable may be a little bit of an it's overstatement. Manageable. Now, if at 60,000 euros or whatever is your per capita income, you are so caring about your population, I have a population at $2,000. I also need energy. I don't have, I'm not in a position to pay high prices. The price of oil has doubled.